Welcome, friends. We're back at it again, talking Star Trek news. Good, bad, what the heck are they thinking? All of this coming out of, I believe, Cinema. <laughs> So let's take a look starting here on Deadline. We get the good and the bad. Star Trek Strange New Worlds renewed as Lower Decks sets ending after five seasons. So if we come down here, we find out that Star Trek Strange New Worlds has been renewed for a fourth season. The interesting element here is that they are currently only working on season three. They haven't even finished that. So this means that's not even slated till 2025. Season four most optimistically won't come out until the other end of 2025, early 2026. So we do officially have some form of Star Trek still coming on our screens for the next couple of years. This also presents them with not really having that um, uncertainty hanging over their heads when they tell season three and potentially even season four. They may know more by then about season five if it's coming. So they can tell the stories they want to tell without having to worry about getting cut off on a cliffhanger or lingering plot threads they never get to tie up. Granted, Strange New Worlds is supposed to be a prequel leading directly into the original series. We know that's not necessarily the case with some changes to the timeline, changes to character, status quos, and whatnot. So who knows what they're going to do with that, but this does allow them a little bit of breathing room to do the creative elements they want to do. But the real meat of what everyone seems to be most interested with isn't Strange New Worlds, it's Lower Decks. So it was announced that Lower Decks will be concluding with a fifth and final season Interesting they didn't mention canceled. I know there's a whole difference. And we were kind of speculating earlier on when uh, Mike McMahon mentioned, this was months ago, I have to imagine at this point, that there was no plan past season five because the contract only went that far. He was hopeful at that point that they would get a bunch more seasons. But it seems now that they are kind of um, wrapping this up. As we see here, there is an actual quote. Our incredible cast, crew, and artists have given you everything they have because they love the characters they play. They love the world we've built. And more than anything, we all love, love, love Star Trek. We're excited for the world to see our hilarious fifth season, which we're working on right now. And the good news is that all previous episodes will remain on Paramount+. Plus. So there is still so much to look forward to as we celebrate the Cerritos crew with a big send-off. A lot of shade being thrown there at Prodigy, the fact that Paramount just threw that to the wolves and Netflix so kindly stepped in to just wipe it off and put it on their own streaming service. Still pending if we're going to get anything after that pretty much completed season two, which we don't even have a release date for, even though France has already enjoyed the whole dang thing, but... I have to imagine, though, that Lower Decks being an animated series is probably the most cheap to produce for them. I don't know that 100%. It just seems like that's probably accurate. I know some of the talk around this as well. It makes sense for it to end after five seasons. Our characters are no longer going to be Lower Deckers. They're all getting promoted, taking more substantial jobs on the Cerritos and possibly transferring elsewhere. So it really is an apt time to end the show. And while I believe that could potentially be true, and they also mentioned here that um, they do hope and they assume the characters will go on to appear elsewhere, whether or not that's in live action, another animated show they don't specify. Heck, I don't think they really even know themselves right now. So they do have an optimistic view on the future. But all of this kind of has this haze hanging over it. Is all of this due to some of the issues going on behind the scenes right now, the money troubles, Paramount being for sale, possibly being bought by Skydance. I don't think any of that's really 100% gone through yet. That seems to be where things are leaning right now. So is this all a cost-saving measure, kind of narrowing the field, pulling back on things, going forth with just a couple of things to tide us over until the new owners can decide what they want to do, Greenlight Legacy, make their own stuff, get rid of Kurtzman, bring in their own team, whatever they're going to do. I'm not entirely sure where the future lies, but does this also kind of give us a glimpse at the future five seasons is kind of the upper limit on what we can come to expect. Discovery's ending after five seasons. 
So to make it to five seasons, as they say, is a pretty good accomplishment in this day and age. That does still mean, though, that we're not getting nearly as many episodes as we used to get. The seasons are shorter. The seasons are more serialized. We don't have as many episodes per season. So even if you get to five seasons, that's still only the equivalent of a couple of seasons of material from the Berman era of Star Trek. And I know we're in a different age, but that just kind of is a saddening thought. We're never going to get those weird, wacky bottle episodes, filler episodes. And some of them became the most classic or most well-regarded episodes of Star Trek ever. Is this all just because of the world we live in? Or is this all because of the issues at Paramount right now? And actually, if we take a look over here, the third piece of information I wanted to share, Paramount Pictures officially confirms Star Trek origin movie for its upcoming film slate. What I find most interesting about this is it kind of ties into that thought I had going in. They haven't actually announced any new Star Trek in a long time. What do I mean by that? Because they've actually announced a lot of things. Everything they've announced has been in the pipeline for a long, long time. Section 31 was supposed to be a show. It ended up morphing over the years and turned into a streaming event movie with Michelle Yeoh. That's still technically old stuff. Starfleet Academy, if you look all the way back in time, that's been lingering around since I think even the 70s. I know for sure in the 80s that was kind of being bounced around, but it might even go back further than that. So that's not really a new idea. They've been talking about that since I think CBS All Access was still the thing. That's not a new idea. Legacy continuously, stubbornly refuses to get announced. The only new thing we've really had is this Star Trek origin movie, and I really don't even think that's new. This information was leaked a while ago. I think this is more like just a turned on its face, turned on its head, kind of pseudo-morphed J.J. Abrams, throw him a bone type of a thing. They don't even go into any specifics aside from the fact that the people we knew were attached, Toby Haynes and um, J.J. Abrams, Seth Graham Smith, those people are actually involved in its untitled Star Trek origin movie. What does that mean? Is this going to be akin to Enterprise? Is this going to be the founding of the Federation? Is this going to be a some sort of origin of a specific character, a specific ship, a specific event in Star Trek history? Is this going to be an origin story of a biopic of Gene Roddenberry coming up with the idea of Star Trek? I don't think that's probably likely, but who even knows? Is this going to be an origin story about how J.J. Abrams got involved with Star Trek and made Star Trek 2009, and it's going to all be a vanity project made by him about him? I don't think that's the case either, but we really don't have any clues as to what kind of origin movie this is supposed to be, only that it's connected to the J.J. Abrams Kelvin verse from the 2009 film which in and of itself doesn't make sense if they're trying to tell an origin story to that universe. We already kind of saw that. If they're trying to tell an origin of Starfleet and the Federation in that universe separate from our own, that's not supposed to work either based on the time changes. Albeit, they did come out and say that time cracked when the Narada came back and it changed forwards and backwards. So all I'm trying to get at is, what does this even mean are they just throwing it out there to kind of pad the portfolio to say, look, we've got these huge aspirational Star Trek film plans in the works. When you buy us, you might want to pay a little bit more because we've already put all this work into this stuff. Or do they actually have a clear creative vision they intend to tell here? Based on the fact that they aren't even giving us any information on what it is, it leads me to believe they're still trying to come up with this stuff from scratch and they just kind of threw a dart at the board and said Star Trek origin story? Sounds good to me, Buster. All this leads me to what's going on at Paramount. Are we in this new world where we can only look forward to five seasons at the most? What's going on with Star Trek animation? Once Lower Decks ends, is that going to be close up shop and move on out? Are we going to get another animated series? I personally was hoping we were going to use that animated department to fill in some information we hadn't seen before. Give things like Riker on the Titan, a limited animated series, or George Takei on the Excelsior to get that kind of brought in. These are actors that can't convincingly play the roles back when they were actually younger, but in animation, they could still voice these roles, and this could be the last shot to kind of, especially for the original series era of stuff, get Sulu back on screen doing that captaining of the Excelsior, and maybe, highly, highly improbable, 
getting a cameo from uh, Kirk in there somehow. Don't think that would happen, but these are just my thoughts. What do you think about all this news? I know I rambled. I didn't actually give you any real information. I just figured I'd talk about it because it's big news right now. Leave all that stuff down below. Like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. And until next time, computer and program.